Greetings, fellow mathematicians, and welcome back to the art of integration. This is a really good problem. We're going to find that we can do it with minimal work using an algebraic trick, multiplying by one, but with a straightforward integration method like partial fraction decomposition, it's going to be brutal. Now, either way, to get started, you'll probably want to factor that denominator so we can, looks like we can factor out x in that denominator. And as it turns out, you actually can factor x to the 6 minus 1 as a difference of squares, but that's going to lead you down a much, much longer path to answer this problem. We're not going to factor that. We're going to try to use a substitution. Now, keep in mind, whenever you use an algebraic trick like adding 0 or multiplying by 1, you can usually figure out how to add 0 or multiply by 1 from a substitution. So let's take a look here. We have parentheses. Let's try a substitution u as what's in parentheses, x to the 6 minus 1. Let's calculate the differential, the derivative, du. That'll come out to 6x to the 5th dx. And this is where initially you might give up trying a substitution. Notice our differential has a factor of x to the fifth, but our integral doesn't. Well, we're going to multiply by 1 here. We're going to think of 1 as x to the fifth over x to the fifth. So let me go ahead and do that here. We're going to multiply by 1. x to the fifth over x to the fifth. We're multiplying by 1 right there, so we're allowed to do that. And now, if I take that x to the fifth and multiply it to this x in the front, we'll write this fraction as x to the fifth, but now divided by x to the sixth times x to the sixth minus 1. Now, we actually can use our substitution. The x to the fifth, we're going to use that for du, so we can Divide the 6 over here, manipulate the differential to get 1 sixth du equals x to the fifth dx. And the x to the sixth by itself, notice you can manipulate your substitution and solve for x to the sixth. So add 1, and we get u plus 1 equals x to the sixth. So we should be able to easily convert this. Let's go ahead and plug that in. So we're going to convert from x to u. The th x to the fifth dx, we're going to write that as 1 6 du. And if we make use of our substitutions here, we have x to the six minus 1 as u, but x to the six is u plus 1. Rearranging the factors there, let's go ahead and write that as in the denominator u times u plus 1. And now we have basically a straightforward partial fraction decomposition. What you can do is bring that 1 6 out front if you want. And now we just have to go through a much simpler partial fraction decomposition here than if you were to try to fully factor that denominator up there involving x to the 6 minus 1, which does factor, but it's a lot more work. So let's go ahead and do the partial fraction decomposition. We have 1 over u times u plus 1. Fortunately, this denominator has two distinct linear factors. We'll get our partial fractions as a over u plus b over u plus 1. Go ahead and clear fractions. Looks like we should get the equation 1 equals a times u plus 1 plus bu. And don't forget, when you have only linear factors, it's very easy to solve for your constants, here a and b, by plugging in values for the variable, which is now u. So it looks like we're going to want to plug in u 
as 0 and u as negative 1. All right, if we go ahead and do that, let's plug in first u as 0. Left side's going to remain 1. And it looks like we get here when u is 0, a. The b term drops out, and that's nice. a comes out to b1. If you go ahead and plug in now u as negative 1, the a term drops out. We're left with the equation 1 equals now negative b. And that immediately tells us that b is negative 1. And we can go ahead and now basically integrate this. If we go ahead and rewrite this, using our partial fraction decomposition, we split this rational function into two partial fractions. The value for a is 1, so we have 1 over u. But now b is negative 1, so we get minus 1 over u plus 1. And this is now really simple to integrate. You're going to get two natural log terms. I'm going to keep that 1, 6 out front. Looks like we get natural log of u. And then minus natural log of u plus 1. And the only thing we need to do now is back substitute what our substitutions were for u and u plus 1. We have that right here. Looks like our u is x to the 6 minus 1, and u plus 1 is x to the 6. So if we go ahead and plug that in, I'm going to go ahead and distribute that 1, 6 now. Plug in your u. We'll get natural log of x to the 6 minus 1. And then minus, distribute the 1 sixth, natural log, and then we found u plus 1 was x to the 6th. And you actually can simplify this a little bit. Notice if you go ahead and use properties of logs, you can bring that exponent 6 down, and it looks like we'll get as our answer here for this integral. 1 6 natural log of x to the 6 minus 1. And then again, apply your properties of logs. Bring that exponent 6 down. 6 times 1 6 cancels to 1. You can just write that now as minus natural log of x. And we get it. Here, the key was trying to make your substitution work. With this algebraic trick, the key step here, multiplying by 1, thinking of 1 as x to the 5th over x to the 5th. Now, if we were to go ahead and try to fully factor this, x to the 6th minus 1, and go through a partial fraction decomposition, we probably wouldn't even be done solving for the constants that we get from that. So good luck doing it that way. A simple algebraic trick is all that we need. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you're enjoying the art of integration. If you are, support the channel, like, and subscribe.